Hi friends, it's me, Simply Sherry. I help you organize your home and preparedness. So if you wanna get organized, hit that subscribe button. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to organize greeting cards with a container used specifically for that. I use it to organize for occasions like birthdays and showers, weddings, graduation, sympathy, thank you, all kinds of things that happen throughout the year so that you're always ready with a greeting card. These are the two containers where I keep all of my greeting cards except for holidays. And so I only need two and they fit perfectly onto my bookshelf. I got this new one recently because I finally traded it out for this one. It's been kind of broken for a while, but it still worked. So I finally said, you know what, after a few years, I'm just going to re replace it. And luckily it was $2 off. And this is the greeting card storage box from Iris and I got this from the container store, but let me see if there's one from Amazon. What I'm doing now is taking these new ones, okay, and moving the old ones onto the new ones. So you can see here for birthdays, I've separated them birthdays and birthday kids because you find that the birthday cards are very different for an adult versus a kid and plus um like i said since i had kids uh when they're growing up you know they always had friends having birthdays so it was good just to separate that because i needed more birthday kids cards versus regular birthday cards at one point so that's why it's separated that way you can see here i started taking off the sticker but it's a little bit hard so i'm going to use some goo gone for that in a little while but here's another one congratulations and so what i've done too is i've um made one box a certain color with a different color washi tape uh kind of like a blue or an aqua and then this one is pink and that's just because that's the washi tape i had on hand i used to do a lot of um planner planning so i had a lot more washi tape and so I'm just using up what I have now before I even think of getting new washi tape. So here. And then I've also separated congratulations from, let's say, graduation or retirement. Um, it's up to you. So let me just do this one and then we'll get going showing you how I've organized. So with the two boxes, what I did was I just wrote down in my notes app on my phone, the categories that I wanted. So since I know that each box has one, two, three, four, five, six dividers, I knew that I could have at least six categories. And then the way the dividers go in, um, you see there's kind of a slot there. The only thing, the only complaint I have about this box is that I wish that the dividers could be more semi-permanent or permanent. So I think that they can be moved around because let's say you have a whole bunch of uh, graduation cards and it would take up this much space, then you would put the divider here, okay? but that's more than enough cards uh, from what I've seen using this system for years. Even if it's up to here, I could fit about 10 cards. That's enough. I mean, that's a lot of cards. And then when it gets low, I just go ahead and restock. Okay, so let's say there's um, here, this category would be here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then there's a seventh one here. So this divider, whatever name is on it or category, it refers to the cards in front of it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I can have seven categories times two boxes. That's 14 categories of different types of greeting cards. And what I did was I labeled them at the bottom right, box one of two. So if anyone in my family were uh, was getting a greeting card, they could look in either box or I could say it's in box one. 
but basically I put them in alphabetical order. So like I said, I put down in my notes app all the categories, all the types of greeting cards I would ever get in a, in a given year. And so for some of you, uh, your categories will be different, right? Maybe you celebrate something um, that I don't celebrate or you know people that um, you give cards to for a certain thing that I don't. So don't, don't um, just refer to my categories just as a reference. You can also Google like what are the most given greeting cards. So just take some time to think through the categories. So what I, the, these are the categories I came up with. Anniversary, birthday, birthday kids. As I explained, I wanted to separate the birthdays. You may want to separate, um, you may want to have a whole box just for birthdays, like first birthday, 10th birthday, 21st, 50th, 60th, whatever. Okay, it's up to you. Uh, I knew that I only wanted two boxes because I wanted them to fit on my bookshelf. But if you have more space or you love cards or you make your own cards, this is a great system for you. Congratulations, friendship, get well, and graduation. So I used to have congratulations and graduation as one category, but I saw that I have enough space as far as dividing the categories that I went ahead and separated them because we do have a lot of graduations, it seems like every year, or enough that I don't wanna go out each time just to get one graduation card. All right, the other one, box two of two, is Mother's and Father's Day, retirement, seasons and holidays, sympathy, thank you, thinking of you, and wedding. So I would say like thank you and birthdays are probably categories you will always want to have. Um, unless you don't give thank you cards in like a physical form. Maybe you um, give it some way by sending flowers or you send it electronically. It's up to you. But those are the main ones that I see I usually use. And then I wanted to have Mother's and Father's Day. I had an extra space for a category. And I realized that I, I want to um, be able to give cards, give out more cards during this time. And again, it's I set up the system so that I alleviate or take away the running out to the store because I forgot a card. And then retirement used to not be a, really a category. I knew very few people who were retiring. But as I'm aging, I am knowing more people who are retiring. So I just wanted to have a card for that because it is a time to celebrate when you retire. Okay, seasons and holidays. This is different from my Christmas cards. I just did a video on how I... I on how to organize holiday gift wrap and my Christmas cards are in there. So that's separate. These are different type of, type of holidays like Easter or Thanksgiving. And then for seasons, maybe you want to do, um, you know, some of you like to give cards for the fall or for the spring or things like that. Um, and then of course, sympathy. And then wedding, I think is also a big category, especially they come in droves. Like there's times of my life where like, I barely went to a wedding and then there's times when you go to a lot of weddings. Okay, so I'm going in a little bit in depth into these categories because I want you to think through your year, think through your life, think through the friends and family that you have. Maybe you celebrate Kwanzaa or you have more bar mitzvahs and bat mitzvahs. So that could be a different category. I'm just going through this to um, make you, you know, start thinking and brainstorming and writing down the categories that would work for your life. Okay, so uh, let's go to box one. So what I've done is I've already put some Goo Gone on and I'll wipe it down later. So that will take a little bit of time to set in. All right, can you see it this way? All right, so that's what it looks like when it's empty. You saw that earlier, Mother's and Father's Day retirement and what I did was to use the washi tape a label maker and then put scotch tape on top because the washi tape doesn't um, stay completely on this plastic so that's why I just went over it with scotch tape to look how pretty that looks seasons and holidays sympathy okay and these dividers are meant for you to write something on them thank you thinking of you oh I have the wrong <laughs> I have the wrong box. Graduation, it's pink. It's supposed to be this box. Okay, sorry about that. And then the last one here is wedding. So then let me just put these in. So I've got the 
So you can see how easily they go in. And then can you see that um, little dip there? It fits in there. And what I did was I tried to glue it in there. I've also tried to use um, a glue gun. And then I've tried like the Gorilla Glue or whatever. I even tried the... Um, What's that one that's really strong? I mean, I tried, I think, three different types of glue, and it just didn't stay. Once you go in to grab a card, it eventually comes off, and so I just let it be. So look how nice and tidy that is. So now let's go to this one and put these in. So these are the, this is the new box and the new dividers. Okay, anniversary. And yes, I know a lot of people with anniversaries, birthday, birthday kids, congratulations. So congratulations could be like a job offer, um, um, what's that, uh, a raise, anything to do with work in that way. Okay, friendship, that's always a nice category to have. And get well, then graduation. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put the cards that I already have and then show you um, how I restock, which is basically I go to the Dollar Tree and I get a bunch of cards. Um, I look at what I'm missing here and then go to the Dollar Tree, write it down so I know how many to get of each category. And that's pretty much it. So anniversary, I don't have any. Okay, birthday, kids. Okay, so there. That's kind of like a birthday kids, right? So I'm just put it there in front. Uh, I do have some congratulations here. And a lot of these are from the Dollar Tree. and Or you can get ones like this where they're like a boxed set, maybe at uh, your big box stores. Or even the pharmacies have um, boxed cards. Um, usually they have boxed cards. Okay, let's see. Friendship. Um, see, I think these are the Dollar Tree, so that's nice. And what I do is I take the card, the envelope that goes with it, put the card on top, and then I just put a paper clip. I mean, you don't have to do that, and, you know, be careful, because it will hit, scratch it up here a little bit, maybe. You could do it like this, okay, and then put the paper clip like that, okay, and I've just found that um, I'm, okay, I'm okay with it being up here. And just trying to, I should have put it that way. Oh. So I can kind of see the whole card. If it matters, if it doesn't matter to you, then you could just do it like that. And this, this would also be okay to protect the card. I might start changing it that way, okay? So that's that. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead. Sorry, this part is taking long. I'm just deciding. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and put it here since everything else is like that. Or else, if there's one card that's different, I'm gonna go through all the cards and redo the paper clip. Okay, so this is friendship. And the way I put it down, so you're looking at it like this, I turn it this way. So that's how it comes out. Just, just whatever way you want. For me, that's what works. and. It's consistent. Next is get well. Okay. And then it just fits right into there. Look how wonderful that is. This is like your store. So treat it that way. You know, the if you're, you run a store and the stock is low, inventory is low, you go restock it. Okay. Next is graduation. Is this graduation? Oh, yeah. Here's another congratulations. Okay, uh, wedding, wedding. So I don't have any graduation at all. Use them up. So that's what I have to get or got an anniversary. All right, box two of two. The one with the aqua washi tape. Okay, so I know I don't have any Mother's Father's Days. And um, I did go to the Dollar Tree. They obviously don't have. Um, so I'm just going to wait till that time and fill it up then. Okay, let's see, retirement. Oh, I don't have any retirement. Okay, seasons and holidays. So I do have some Valentines. 
and I do want to, st I did look for like St. Patrick's, they didn't really have any. I want to go through every holiday and season and put maybe two of each since there's more that fits into one category. Next is sympathy. Definitely have enough uh, sympathy cards. Okay. All right. So this way, and then it goes down like that. And you can see, let's see how many cards I have. I should have counted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See, ten cards. Ten cards fit in there. More than enough until you have to restock. Okay, here's some thank you cards. So these were, you know, probably in a box set. I don't know if I got more of those. Okay, so this one, because this one opens this way. Okay, so I'll put that one. The ones that open this way, I'll put it down like this. Okay. This is thinking of you. Okay. Put the... Again, this one opens up that way, so I'll put it down. And it's kind of the longer one, so I'll put it in the back. Okay, there. And then wedding. All right, so I went to the Dollar Tree and got a bunch of cards. Again, remember, write down um, how many cards you need of each category. Since I want about 10 cards, um, you know, I write, if let's say, anniversary. Let me see if I can get 10 cards. I don't have to, but that's just kind of the guideline. Okay, see, I've got a bunch of birthday, too. So I'm going to take each one. What if I should do that way? Okay. And I have my paper clips. Put on the paper clip, put into a pile per category, and then we'll put them into the boxes. So these are anniversary and so I will put it in this box here anniversary okay. so Valentine's I got for this year and for next year for my husband son and daughter let me see my son, son there. Okay, and then a couple extra ones. So that will go in seasons and holidays. And those are about, what were they? Um, those were 10, okay. Uh, birthdays so I have a kid's birthday oops kid's birthday here and kid's birthday All right so I got two I think I was hoping to get four each but anyway so birthday kids and then regular birthdays or other birthdays Retirement, okay, graduate, 
graduate. Oh, congratulations. And then thank you. So if I just scan these, I could get a couple more graduation. Um, those are pretty much the ones available at the Dollar Tree that I was at. So I said I'll just um, go again more towards May and stock up on that. I would like a few more birthdays. Anniversary I think is okay, but if I find, I will. And of course I said earlier I'm going to stock up Mother's and Father's Day when it's that time. And then retirement, I do want a few more. That's all they had when I went, and we're pretty good with the other stuff. You can see the Gugan took off the sticker pretty well. Okay, I'm just gonna close this one. It just snaps closed like that. 